Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing on the functionality of web, uh, web element in which we find the web element. So let's see this, how this particular functionality works. So if in case I want to find an element, if you remember when we were studying locators, we had identified some key locators like ID, name, class name, tag name, link text, partial link text, CSS and XPath. Now, how does all these things work? Say, if in case I want to find an element based on its ID, I call the function driver. Now, what is a driver here? Whenever we, all these syntax have been, you know, uh, placed or have been, you know, uh, there, keeping in mind that we have taken an object of the web driver as driver. This driver is then called on the find element method and then we are passing the id by dot id so on passing the by dot id i am supposed to pass the elements id remember if in case the element is found we get a object of the web element type if in case the element is not found we get an exception named as no such element exception so similar is the case with the name, we pass the name, the class name, the class name refers to the CSS attribute of the CSS class name that is being applied. The tag name, the tag name is the HTML tag under which the element is placed. The link text, if in case I am finding an element which is a link or an anchor tag for that matter, it can be found out using the link text. Also I can use a partial link text to find an element, by partial I mean not the comp like say my link text is go to the home page then uh, i can pass some partial link text in spite of passing the whole go to the home page then by css i can even pass the by dot css selector and the xpath by dot xpath xpath is is a you know is an expanded study it needs a, currently we can find the xpath using the firepath uh, add on for our Firefox, for you know, for getting more knowledge of XPath, you need to know about the working of XML, the siblings, the predecessor, and all those things in detail. Currently, we would be using the Firefox functionality to find the XPath of a particular element. Now, let's see how do we find an element using the by ID method. So, this is my code. I am calling. I am in the main method. I am getting the web driver and I here I am trying in web element id element by id email. So this would return me an element whose id is email under type web element and then the, the name of the web element would be id. I would be using this id in future to perform all my operations on this particular element. So now let's quickly go to our screens and see a practical demo of how do we find element by these locators one by one. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, now like as we have already discussed about you know like the working of finding elements. Now let us quickly see the you know how actually finding elements work. So for this I have made up an HTML form which looks something like this. Yeah. So this is my HTML form This I have made up right. Uh, you need not to worry about this form. Uh, this form would also be available onto our website. The link would be shared shortly. So don't worry about that. I would be putting it online. Now what we do is we would be checking for this uh, for this elements and we would try to understand you know how we can work on these particular elements like one by one right so my like the very first task for in this one would be we would try to find and write some some particular things in the name field using the find element property right so let's get started by opening up our you know eclipse so in our eclipse we have to make a project and yeah so I have already made a project. I have named the project as find element demo. Now in this one, I would create a new package. Like there is no specific reason for creating a package just to distinguish, you know, between the two different uh, functionality or, you know, or two different uh, 
division like it is not a physical but you know like say we are having one type of classes in uh, in one particular package a class which works on one page in one package so this is just you know to for our understanding this is nowhere you know related to selenium in any manner right so i click on new and i go to class in the class i type the name as find element demo i want the main method and i click on finish so the very first thing to be done over here is we first need to set the property we have already discussed we need the property to you know to understand that yes you know like which uh, driver and what path of the driver that we want to use would be accessing right so this property is standard there is you know we can't change it we can't play with it so you need to make sure that yes you are passing the exact property because if this property is not there then the web drivers you know won't be able to fire the driver because it operates from here right here I pass the location of my driver right now what I do is yes I make the object of the web driver web driver I named it as driver equal to new I pass the driver that is Marante driver now uh, till now we have been you know getting the URLs and you know all those things now what I'll do is I like in spite of getting the URL from HTTP I would just try to fetch this particular URL right Pretty simple, you know. Like since I'm working on a, on a Mac machine, so my file system looks like this. If you're working on a Windows machine, you would be having the URL something like C, then users or your the username and then the desktop, or you can put this file anywhere, where you, wherever you are comfortable, right? Uh, I would recommend you to you know to uh, use it live, like by HTTPS. Once this file is live on the server, you can use this one, right? Now. What I'll do is, I first need to check the name, like you know how I can identify the name. So identifying name is over here. Uh, I can identify it using the, the the by name property or the by ID property, right? So let me first uh, do it by ID, right? I've copied the ID and I will be passing the ID. So web element, I pass it as a name or f name, right? Equal to driver dot find element. In the find element, I pass by how I want to find the. Yeah, I'm passing it by ID. So the ID is first name over here, right? now I want that if in case any text is there in this particular uh, element should be cleared and then I want the driver to type using send keys say uh, name or I'll type tutorials point quite simple nothing much to be done now first of all I'll close the Firefox because I want to make sure and show you that yes you know there is no instances of Firefox running and we are actually opening up our Firefox and it should show up onto my screen I run the project it opens up the Firefox so here's the name that has been typed in in the first name right so this is very simple you know no not much information needed but now here we would be doing something that is different right okay so first of all let me first pass a id as f name 1 what should be the expected output right since there is no such element as f uh, you know f name 1 it should give an error right yes the error is that the element is not found 
so he is an you know exception you got that no such element exception we can even you know handle our exception so that would be a part of the exception handling in selenium let's not get into those details but like as we have discussed we were having three cases right the very first case was when the you know element has been found and when the element is not there right this is the first one then when we are having a element like in this one we were having uh, f named element right now the another case is when we are having an element which is having the same the same identifier twice like say this is my first name and this is my last name now let me inspect this element if you inspect this element you would see that the name of this element is name and for the last name also let me show it to you here also the name is name so as per you know like as we already discussed in the lecture also when we were you know going through the the uh, theoretical part so if i if in case i pass the name attribute or find element by name and i pass name itself then the values should be inserted into the first name so since both are having the same name we need to like see which one is identified if in case we are passing the name parameter right so i'll here make up a new element and i'll name it as web element i name it as name itself name dot name equal to driver dot find element here i pass by dot name and here i'm passing it as name that's all and here i pass name dot clear and name dot send keys in the keys i am passing aditya in this case now let me run this and see the output so if you look at it here carefully the first name has been changed to aditya the reason was pretty simple that whatever is the first occurrence of the like of this element the driver identifies this and works on you know on this particular element henceforth so this name points to the first occurrence of this find element which has been you know given by the given in the dom or in the html dom right so guys this was all about you know having the find element work for us it's pretty simple to summarize that we have, uh, like in case of find element we have only three possible solutions that you know first the element is present if the element is present then we simply identify it and we work on it correspondingly then there are cases when when the element is not present and then there are more than one element in case the element is not present we get an exception as no such element exception and in case there are more than one elements present then whichever is the first element is returned by default to us right so guys thank you for uh, tuning in to the find elements demo session stay tuned as we take you through further